Bill's observation, I want everyone to turn around and look behind you. Turn around and look behind you. And those in heaven. Now look up at that flag. Whether we 
said the Holy Spirit is still the Holy Ghost. Yes. 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 And the Bible says that to work out in this plan, we must be filled yes. with the Holy Spirit. All right. The second point is today we want to commemorate on is we must know All right. the gospel message. Yes. Not just the message, but we must know the gospel message. Some of us the old folks say get a little proper with it. And we would say the gospel message. It doesn't matter to me how you pronounce it. Yes, yes. As long as you know it. So today we're going to talk about the gospel message. In these verses, Verses 19, 9 through 12 and 19 through 20, we'll find this message that we want to leave with you. The scripture that was read is what brought about all of this discussion. Watch me. These men were doing the work of God. They walked by seven days going into the temple. And this man was sitting at the temple gate. Yes. Can you imagine everyone into the church house Sunday after Sunday? Wednesday after Wednesday, day after day, all right, all right. and find someone sitting on the church step, wow. all right. and you don't stop to invite them in. Yeah. However, I must admit there is a consequence. Yeah. Mm -hmm. These men were doing okay. Until they stop to the lame man well, yeah, yeah. and gave him the gospel message. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does that sound familiar? Yeah. Peter and John, the Bible said that they were on their way into the temple. Yes. Chapter 3 of the book of Acts. This young man look and expect something of them. Mm -hmm. Church, the world is expecting something from us. I'm not going to be before you, love. They are not expecting us to complain about how long you stay in church. They want to know if they are worth from the Lord. Is there any help? Peter and John, this day they can evade the responsibility. The young man stop them. Somebody is going to stop you one day. Somebody's going to challenge you to see if you know the message. Yes, yes. Said to them, Peter John said, Simon, go. Have I none? But such as we have. We need to share our faith <laughs> with somebody else. Oh, yes. oh you come on, go with me. Oh, yes. we, 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 the, the world has their problems. Yes. The world does not need your problem. We are to take Jesus to the world. Yes. Let the world know that he's able, he's able. to change our condition. Oh, yeah. Brother 
Peter and John, third, look on us. We're just some poor preachers. We don't have any money. But such <laughs> as we have, we give unto you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of the message. Also know the messenger. In the name of Jesus. Whatever condition you are in, in the name of Jesus. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
could be been with Jesus. Even though they were not very smart, but they had something special about them. They'd been with Jesus. So my brothers and sisters, the message. What is the message? The first thing that we want to know in the message is what the Roman road says. Roman road says in Roman 5.23 we all have sin <laughs> and fall short of the glory of God. Just because you have made it thus far, don't become exalted in your ability. Because you're just a saved sinner. You may not be doing the same thing that some other sinners are doing, but you're only a saved sinner. We need to tell the world that we all have sinned. But by the grace of God, through his grace and mercy, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. And not only did he die on Calvary Cross, but on Sunday morning he rose from the grave. Not only did he rose from the grave, but the Bible says he had all in his hand. You looking at us as if we have done something. But the same man whom you crucified, he got up one Sunday morning. 